Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce, happy Catterday. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. It's actually out of uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. And it says, For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. That verse is awesome. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Let me give you the Gospels. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Look it up in Romans. Justified by the blood of Jesus, which is in Romans 3, 24, 25. I always say that. Justified by the blood. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen literally at any time. And you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, all of that. The Holy Spirit will change you. The Holy Spirit will change you. Now, I'm going to talk to you about what's going on. Atmospheric, <laughs> besides the earthquakes and the volcanoes. Any of you who have cats, any of you who have dogs, and I know a lot of you do, they're acting strange lately. I'm going to give you an example. Sam was, Sam was a talker anyway. You all know that. You've all heard him. Delilah's kind of quiet. Sam and Dee. Dee is kind of quiet, but she has her share of talking. Last night... I even had my kids. Zach was saying, did you feed them? I said, I feed them every single day. They free food. They free eat. They're dry. And I give them can twice a day. They were acting, especially Sam, they were acting very, very strange. And I mean, they were walking around the uh, open kitchen and, and just going around. And I said, something's up. They were looking at me. As though I'm going to leave them. Or though it's something is going to happen. Now I'm cool either way. Rapture, whatever comes first. Because I know where I'm going. I read this this morning. And this just came out. And this is off of the uh, National o Oceanic and Atmospheric site. The NOAA. An enormous... Dark hole has opened up in the sun's surface and is spewing powerful streams of unusually fast radiation known as solar wind right at Earth. Now, let me explain something. I, a lot of these things that happen in the atmosphere, it affects the animals. But they can see that something is about to happen before we do sometimes. They can sense that. I know it. I've been around cats, especially cats. Cats, I've been around cats for over 30 years. I had a cat. I'm going to give you an example of that. I had a cat in California when I was living in California. All of a sudden, that cat came out of the back room, and he was walking slow, and his hair was standing up. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Did you see something? What is going on? Not even five minutes later, there was a five point something earthquake.
they can sense something. Okay. This goes on to say the size and orientation of the temporary gap, which is wider than 60 Earths, is unprecedented at this stage of the solar system, scientists say. They're baffled at this. Now, when you're in the Lord, when you're watching for the Lord, you know that something, something is shifting. Your spidey senses, so to speak, is alert. So, this goes on to say a giant dark patch on the sun, known as coronal hole, took shape near the sun's equator on December 2nd and reaches maximum width of around 497,000 miles within 24 hours. Spaceweather.com reported, since December 4th, the solar wind void has been pointing directly at the Earth. Now this can explain a lot of your earthquakes that are in places that usually don't get earthquakes, a lot of your volcanoes that are erupting, and a lot of strange stuff with the animals. God said in his word that you can see this stuff. And when you start to see all this stuff happening, well, you know the rest. I'm paraphrasing, but you know the rest. Now, this could explain, too, I, we have a 2020 rogue. We have Sirius XM in there. We have satellite radio. So we, I don't listen to regular radio. I listen to satellite. I listen to Sirius. It was acting up. And I'm like, this can't be because there's something wrong with it. But it would get, you would get blank spaces. And I'm like, am I passing through something? I noticed that immediately. Then all of a sudden it's fine. Nothing's wrong with it. Experts initially predicted the most recent hole could spark a moderate G2 geomagnetic storm, which could trigger radio blackouts and a strong or, uh, auroral displays for the next few days. However, the solar wind has been less intense than expected. So the resulting storm has been weak so far, according to space weather. But auroras are still possible at high uh, latitudes. It is unclear how long the hole will remain in the sun. But previous cor uh, coronal holes have lasted for more than a single solar rotation, almost 30 days. However, the hole will soon rotate away from the earth. All this is happening during Hanukkah. I just wanted who I wanted to know if you got this time frame. Coronal holes occur when the magnetic fields that hold the sun in place suddenly open up, causing the contents of the sun's up, upper surface to stream away from the form of solar wind, according to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Now this goes on to say that the last coronal hole appeared on the sun, which emerged in March. And it spat out the most powerful geomagnetic storm to hit the earth in more than six years. The radiation streams from the coronal holes are much faster than normal and often trigger disturbances in the earth's magnetic shield known as the geomagnetic storms according to NOAA. Why did I do a video on this today? Because something is up. Something is up in the spiritual and something is up in the atmosphere. My cats don't do that. Sam don't, don't do that. You pet him, he's fine. 
He goes in somewhere and goes to sleep. That cat was disturbed all day. And half the night. He was just uncomfortable. I'm saying all this to say that something God is trying to get the attention of people. And he's wondering who's listening. Now back to the... <laughs> To Israel, which all ties in with all of this too, because like I said, this all happened right at this week of Hanukkah. So now Erdogan, Turkey, Erdogan on Saturday, this morning just denounced the UN Security Council at the United States after the United States vetoed a ceasefire for Gaza. Describing the, intentional, the int international body as the Israel Protection Council. Now, I'm reading somewhere else they're going to have another meeting coming up. They're going to try to stop Israel. I had to get my phone. Hold on a minute. This meeting is coming up. Someone has sent it to me earlier. Let me see if I can see it. Because yeah, they're calling a um Actually, this was off of Generation uh, 2434. They're calling Palestinian Mahmoud Abbas Friday called for an immediate end to the war. Now, this meeting happened yesterday, the meeting that they're talking about. They're talking about having another meeting. So Palestinian president says... Gaza war must end, conference needed to reach settlement. So they're going to have another, sounds like they're going to have another conference about this thing in order to stop it. So Washington thus dashed a growing clamor for a halt to fighting that had been led by the UN chief, Antonio Guterres and the Arab nation. So Erdogan is spewing off. Wondering, is this justice? Adding that the world is bigger than five. A reference to the five veto wel uh, welding nations in the United Nations Security Council. Another world is possible, but without America. That's what he said. He said, another world is possible, but without America. The United States stands by Israel with his money and military equipment. Hey, America, how much are you going to pay for that? Every day, the Declaration of Human Rights is violated in Gaza. So right now, they're ticked. And like I said, they're, gonna, they're talking about having another, possibly another meeting to try to put a stop to Israel. I'd like to see how well that's going to go over, which is not. Not at all. I'm going to link this in the description box about this Recep Erdogan. And I'm going to put this thing in here about Noah, about the sun. But I'm telling you, something's going on. And it is spiritual. Now, there is also thousands of tons of dead fish washed up ashore in northern Japan. Nobody understands why. It 
It created a silver blanket stretching half a mile along the coastline. The decomposing fish could lower oxygen levels in the water and affect marine environment. We don't know for sure what circumstances. They don't know what's going on. These scientists don't know what's going on with the sun. They really don't. We know what's going on. But they don't know. I'm going to link both of these in the description box and I will be back on later. Thank you.